how getting the right help, the right guidance can save you so much time, money and effort in the long run. When it comes to your health and fitness, I like to talk about hoovers. Why hoovers? So if we look at um, getting help with your health and fitness, um, we all go along the same similar journey. At some point, you're trying to work it all out for yourself. Uh, and back to the Hoover analogy, it's paramount to buying the cheapest Hoover you can find, right? So um, case in point, um, I bought a Hoover from Morrison's. Um, was it Morrison's? No, it was Argos, uh, wherever it was. It was a cheap Hoover. Um, I just moved to York. Um, I wanted something that would just, what I thought was work. Um, it was, yeah, it wasn't any brand in particular. It was made by the supermarket by itself. So in terms of the time it took me to hoover with that thing, um, I had nothing else to compare it to at the time. It was just going to suck up all of the dirt. And it did for the first couple of times. Um, so I was, what I thought, saving myself money because I wasn't shelling out hundreds of pounds on it. Um, it saved me the effort in terms of um, the other alternative being to sweep up um, my floors and carpets, which is um, very difficult. And it saved me the time because, again, if I'm without a hoover, then the hoovering is going to take much longer, right? But then uh, something happened and the hoover stopped working um, and lo and behold, I ended up having to go out and get another hoover. Uh, and this point, I was like, well, I'm not going to repeat that same mistake again. Um, I'm not going to buy the same hoover and purportedly save myself the time, money and effort on buying that same hoover because of the results that I got from it, right? Um, so instead, I invested in something like a Dyson um, that was, yes, it was a bigger investment. However, it was going to save me, it worked out, lots more time, money and effort because the time in terms of um, how much quicker it was doing the job intended, the effort in terms of there was a lot less effort to actually push this thing around. And yes, in the long run, it was going to save me money because that cheap thing that I bought from Argos uh, lasted me best part of maybe six months at max. This Dyson I've got that, yes, cost more than the Argos number. Um, turns out that it's lasting a lot, lot longer. It's going to be an investment uh, in terms of uh, years and years, hopefully. Touch wood, it's not actually broken down. So I like this analogy because hopefully it kind of spells out one way of how we can save time, money and effort when you get the right guidance. Guidance here being the right hoover, but you can apply this concept to your health and fitness and in terms of the solutions that you're looking for. So a lot of people go for the cheapest option or what seems to be um, something of comparable quality to something else that is of a higher investment. Um, but then they realize in the short term um, that it actually doesn't work. It doesn't give them the long term results. So say, you know, say something like a, a short term, really cheap diet that you're going to go on. OK, um, in the long run, you're not going to stick to it. You know, categorically, that it's not going to work in the long run. You know that in a year's time, you're not going to be still doing it. Right. Um, so. Guidance for me is someone else being able to point you in the right direction, give you the right tools and save you all that time and money and effort on working out yourselves, on making the mistakes that they have already made. So it is about finding someone to help you um, that is proven in terms of they've already got results 
um, for people like yourselves, the results that you want, okay? Whether it's losing weight, toning up, um, just not wobbling as much, being um, less, being less scared of being included in photos or being more confident in uh, actually going out uh, and socializing, whatever it is, right? It's about finding the right help to give you um, the shortcuts because basically guidance is shortcuts, right? And if you take it to the extreme of, um, not the extreme, but if you take it to the example of finding a health and fitness solution, it's about something, it's about the difference that a cheap option can give you versus the life-changing results that the right kind of investment with finding the right guide um, can do for you and your life. So yeah, in a nutshell, I'm saying buy cheap, buy twice. And I'm saying save yourself the time, money and effort by looking out for the right kind of guidance. Um, the kind of guidance that is going to give you the small steps to take um, that is just going to make things so much easier in terms of giving you the simple steps, the simple proven steps to actually take that are going to make a difference, that are going to be sustainable for you um, and that you're going to ultimately feel the results and benefits from doing. So if you're on the lookout for a guide yourself, then ask the right questions, I guess, is what I'm saying, and look for a proven record of um, having helped people like yourself get the results that you want so that you don't waste any more time and money because right now it's more relevant than ever that time is so, so precious. There's only so much time that we have and it's it boils down to how you choose to spend it and if it's a case of finding the right guide that's going to um, save you all that effort in the long run um, so that you can get to or be or feel the way you want to quicker, then uh, I'm, I'm all for that.